Today we're going to show you how to make um, chicken cacciatore. Here are some of the ingredients that we're going to use to uh, to make it. You can pretty much make it with whatever you got um, around the house. Most importantly, you need your chicken wings, which um, you can usually find for a good price. We have some onion, green pepper, green bell pepper, some olive oil to fry it up. We have a choice of some already made sauce or crushed tomatoes. If we wanted to let it simmer longer, we'll use the crushed tomatoes. We also have a little oregano, garlic, maybe a little salt and pepper. You can also add mushrooms, um, olives, some people do, some people not. Um, or you can also add a little dash of red wine as, um, if you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fry the chicken wings and get those cooked in some olive oil. That's step number one. So now, as you can see, we've got the chicken wings um, in the frying pan with a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. We've uh, gone ahead and put a little salt and pepper on them for a little flavor. We're going to go ahead and let them cook. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to slicing and prepping our vegetables. Uh, our, we're going to chop up our onions and green peppers to um, go in there. And we're also going to prepare our sauce to go in there as well. And eventually, we're going to let it all simmer. So as you can see, we've got the chicken cooking uh, very high heat on the olive oil. We've gone ahead and salt and pepper them. We're going to cook them until they're well done. We don't want anyone uh, getting sick, and we want to cook the chicken well before we put any vegetables in, okay? We've also taken the liberty of going ahead and chopped up our onions and green pep pep peppers. And we are heating up our sauce in a separate pan for the moment until we put it into the chicken when it's ready. So we're going to let the chicken simmer and cook until it's well done, then we're going to add the vegetables. So as you can see, our chicken is now very well cooked. We're going to go ahead now and add our vegetables in there. We did, we did hit them on par, cook them a little bit in the microwave. You can do that or just throw them in, it'll just take longer. I'm going to go ahead and mix them in. Get some of that onion to caramelize with that olive oil and for the peppers to as well caramelize. So you're going to keep that on some medium heat for a little bit, covered for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then you're going to add your sauce and simmer for probably 45 to an hour. The longer you simmer, uh, that chicken will start to fall off the bone as you have the sauce in there. So we're going to let the uh, veggies simmer for a little bit and then add the sauce and then we're going to finish it up. So as we're still simmering here we want to stir in while well, it was 8 to 10 minutes we were uh, trying to part cook these veggies and get them to caramelize. The chicken's already cooking so we want, every once in a while you want to just stir to get that those veggies to uniformly cook before we start adding the sauce in there. Okay so we're going to let them go a little longer. So now that we've been cooking the chicken and the vegetables, you can start to see that the onions are getting a little crispy, a little caramelized. Now is a great time to go ahead and add your sauce in. You want to cover that because that's going to get real hot. And yes, we have what I meant, very messy cookers here. Lower the heat down a little bit. that down. Pull that down and simmer. You're going to get that down to simmer temperature. Go ahead and stir it. Make sure it's uniform. Now there's two, one thing I could have done there. If I wanted to make this more heart healthy, I would have drained the olive oil out of there because there was a little extra in there that probably didn't need to be there. So, but if you wanted to make it extra good, you can leave the olive oil in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let that simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. And the chicken will be nice and will be falling off the bone. And that is how you make chicken on the bone cacciatore. So as you can see, it's been simmering. So, and it's well done that the chicken is actually starting to fall off the bone very easily like that. So that's how you know when it's done. 
so we're going to go ahead and put it on the plate and you can serve this with the pasta of your choice so there you have it homemade chicken cacciatore on the bone and it's cooked so well that the chicken is just falling off that's not good I guess so you can try this at home and serve it with the pasta of your choice uh, you can mix up in whatever kind of vegetables that you have. Mix it up, have fun, enjoy. Thanks for watching.